Taking notes on a contentious issue, thousands of Kiwis are having their say regarding the controversial topic of legalising euthanasia. It's an issue one local academic says he sees both sides of. I know that there's always a lot of support in the community for the idea of making death less of a, an ordeal, less suffering, and therefore of dealing in, in an uh, understanding and caring manner for people that are dying by offering them the choice. Gillette has been researching the euthanasia since 1983. He believes legalising voluntary euthanasia may lead to an increase of people using the option as it becomes normalised. He also says it could bring up additional problems around who meets the requirements to end their own life. Whether it should be restricted, whether there are people who go through intolerable suffering, even though they don't fit the normal groups that would spring to mind, that becomes uh, an issue as well. Gillette believes the government are apprehensive to discuss the topic as they don't want to be seen to take sides in such a moral issue. He says the medical sector is generally against it as they are under oath to take care of people's health, but he thinks there is a chance that the practice could become legal in the future. I think that's actually quite likely. I think our new generation of medical students whom we are now educating will have to broaden their minds and deepen their humanity. The Voluntary Euthanasia Society has said it's received 22,000 submissions on the petition that sought an inquiry into public opinion and law change. The final tally of submissions is yet to be confirmed by the Health Select Committee. Annabelle Dick, 39, Dunedin News.